So good afternoon everyone, this is Professor Robinson. In the lecture today, I'm going to talk about the successive steps of human listeriosis and also how the bacteria Listeria monocytogenes infects the cell. So I'm going to talk about these two processes in this lecture. So first of all, the successive steps in human listeriosis. When we eat the food that is contaminated with the bacteria Listeria monocytogenes, we get the bacteria along with the food in the intestine. So the bacteria enters the intestine. And in the intestine, somehow, it crosses the intestinal barriers and it is then transported to the liver and to the spleen. And from the bloodstream, then it is transported to the brain and it also crosses placental barrier entering in the placenta. So this is the successive steps involved in human listeriosis. So food contaminated with the listeria, it enters the intestine, crosses the intestinal barrier, and then it is transported to the liver and to the spleen, and via the bloodstream it enters the brain and also to the placenta. But now talking about how the bacteria listeria monocytogenes infects the cell. Actually, the bacteria has really two really important proteins named internalin A here and internalin B. These two proteins are actually involved in interactions with host factors. So internalin A specifically interacts with E. cadherine, human epithelial E. cadherine, and internalin B actually interacts with C. met in all the cell types. But internalin A is specific to human epithelial cell lines. So after interaction of these two these virulence factors from the bacteria with the human factors, the bacteria is trapped inside the vacuole. And from the vacuole, the protein named Listerolysin O actually helps the bacteria to lyse the vacuole, and the bacteria then escapes the vacuole and is now in the cell. So in, in the cell, the protein named ACT A is actually responsible for propelling the bacteria inside the cell, and this uh, this movement actually also helps the bacteria to invade the another uninfected cell, and this is how the bacteria enters another uninfected cell. And inside the another cell, the two membranous vacuole is actually lysed by the protein Listerolysin O, and then the bacteria is freely available now to infect the another uninfected cells and also to replicate. So how the infection at the cellular level occurs is that we have the virulence factors from the bacteria, internal A and internal B, these two proteins, they interact with the host factors, internal A specifically to human E, cadherin, and internal B to C, met. They are trapped inside the vacuole, the vacuole is ruptured or, or the lysed by Listerolysin O, and in the, in the cell, the protein Act A actually helps propel the bacteria from the uh, from the action polymerization inside the cell and also to invade another cell. And, in, and also in another cell, the protein LLO actually helps the bacteria to come out of the back hole and is now freely available for the infection and replication. The three main virulence factors, so here Act A here, internal in A and internal in B actually, all these three are co-regulated by one protein named PRFA. So that's why this protein PRFA is also a really important protein in Listeria pathogenesis. Thank you very much everyone.